Great news because Softer have just announced their new integration with Zapier. Earlier in the year, we received Softer databases, finally letting you manage your front end and your back end in the one platform. And now they've unlocked automations. No more duct taping tools together. You can now connect your Softer data to thousands of tools with Zapier. Hey there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com and we help companies like yours get set up and automated using industry leading portals, apps, and integrations. The latest updates from Softer is something you and myself have been asking for. Softer now connects to Zapier, so you can automate your workflows, connect your favorite tools, and bring real-time data into and out of your Softer database. Whether you are using Softer for a client portal, an internal tool, or a full business system, this update means that you can stop relying on custom backend setups as Softer is now fully capable of powering your business, your apps, and your automations. Let me show you how. Setting up the integration between your Softer database and Zapier is incredibly easy. If you aren't familiar with Zapier as a platform, make sure to watch this video where we dive into what it is and how to use it. But let's look at setting up an automated workflow. In Zapier, that's called a Zap. So if we jump into a new Zap, we can then select the trigger action, which is going to be when something happens in our software database. So we're gonna search for the app that is the trigger action. And a trigger action is what kicks off this automated workflow. We'll search for software, we'll select that, and we'll see that we have two trigger events. Those trigger events are a database record is added or a database record is updated. Now let's select that a database record is added. We'll jump into Softer, and what we're going to do is we're going to set up an automation so that when we have a new lead come into our website, we can A, send an email to our sales team, B, send a notification to our Slack sales channel, C, send a confirmation email to the submitter, and D, add that to our CRM that we run through Airtable. Taking a look at our Zap or Automated Workflow Editor, we can see currently that the trigger action or the trigger event is when a database record has been added to our lead tracker. So we've got this website here or this app that we've built in Softer. And within the database here, we can see that we've got that lead tracker table or that leads table. Within it, we can see that there's quite a few items or quite a few records. So we don't want to manually reach out to each individual lead, notify our sales team, add them to the CRM project manager, so on and so forth. Instead, we want to automate that. Now, what we will want to take note of is as well the service interested. Remember that because we can actually create a dynamic automation with multiple paths, depending on how the lead responds to our community website form. Let's jump into the zap. So in here, we can see the database record being added. So we'll jump onto the next step is to send that confirmation email. Now we'll jump into the configuration. We can see that we're pulling in the email directly from the record. We've got those options there we can bring in. We've included the from and a subject. Thanks for reaching out. Again, we've personalized this email so they feel like it is a great relationship from the start. Hi there. Another great opportunity to bring in the data from your records and we can continue on to the next step. Just updating and notifying our team in Slack. So we have the option to connect our software database to thousands of tools to automate our workflows. And if we continue on with this automation, we can then update a record in our CRM if it's run through Airtable, SmartSuite, Notion, whatever platform you are using. Of course, you could also then update a database in Softer itself. If we just select that, we'll notice that we've got the action event to either create an app user, the users of your app, but we've now got the ability to create a database record, delete a database record, find a database record, and also update a database record. So we could then select to create a database record, select our CRM that you're currently tracking, but I want to go beyond this straight and path automated workflow and instead implement conditional paths. I'll show you what I mean. Now, Zapier allows us to do more than just add steps that are connections to other apps. We can format our data, filter it, or add conditional paths. We can then add conditions to those paths. I will add a condition to path A so that when the services interested question is responded with exactly 
emergency. Let me just double check what we have here. Emergency plumbing. We can see this is the database connected. So emergency plumbing continue. Now, whenever a new record is created in a software database and it matches that condition, it's going to be taken down this path. This really helps when you need to assign particular jobs to particular departments or teams. Beyond that, we can see within our software database that we've also got a lead score formula here. This is great because it will enable you to apply a score to a lead and then assign them to the correct sales team member. But we can also integrate with Zapier through the editor. If you're working on your app and you want to set up your automations and integrations, you'll just jump into settings and then select integrations. From there, you can select Zapier and follow the prompts. With Softer, it's all now starting to click. First, they gave us databases. Now they've flipped the switch on automations. Sync Softer databases with your automation tools to eliminate repetitive tasks, reduce errors, and keep all your systems up to date. You can get started completely free. Just check out the link in the description below. Now, something else before I let you go is another way that you can have Softer communicate with Zapier. Here we've got our community website where we have leads submit a form. Let me show you. So on the pages here, we'll select add job. This is the form that was connected to our lead tracker data source, but I want to show you something else we can do. So we're gonna select the form here and this will bring up the side panel editor. And if we scroll down, we'll see that we have the destination or the data source. Now that was set to our destination as our software database, but something else that we can do is actually directly communicate with Zapier by creating a custom webhook URL directly here in our form. Well, I hope that was some exciting news for you and you're ready to dive in to Softer and Zapier and start building some automated workflows to help you, your business, and your team. You can get started with Softer today completely free just by selecting the link in the description below. Good luck and enjoy building. <laughs>